Napoleon Hill in his book Think and Grow Rich, which is really worth reading again now that you are understanding vibration, was talking about the mastermind. And Esther is beginning to discover that if she can get someone to dialogue with her and they can stay on this high flying disc, which means they stay mostly in generalities, not talking about any details of life experience, but mostly in generalities. What happens is as they stay there for a little while, both of them become tuned to one another's mind. It's like another mind that they've tapped into is now thinking with them and the satisfying feeling of thinking with that broader perspective. You have never been individuals. You just thought that you were. And the reason that you thought that you were is because so many people were trying to control you because they needed your compliance with what they thought was a good way for you to live so that they can feel good, that they set forth all kinds of rules and laws. And in the process of doing that, and in your process of trying to please them and align with what they wanted, rather than tune to your high frequency, you lost your connection in many cases. And so most people are sort of just banging around mere shadows of the consciousness that you really are. But when you begin tuning to the consciousness that you really are, you begin discovering that you've never been singular ever, 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 ever. And anytime you felt alone or lonely or lost or confused, it was only because you pinched yourself off from the frequency of the mastermind, not a mind that is masterfully trying to control you, but this consciousness that knows all things. And when you tune into that, you know what road to take. You know where to put your foot down. You know how to uplift this person when you open your mouth. You know what route to take in a place that you don't even really understand. You find impulses within you that are just pleasurable, pleasurable, pleasurable. You can never have an unhappy journey to a happy destination. If you're having a miserable time along the way, when you get to wherever you're going, it's going to be miserable when you get there. That's a sign you see. But when you're feeling good, when it's fun, when you're clear minded, when you're feeling frisky, when you want to go, when you're just full of yourself, tuned in, tapped in, turned on. When you feel like that, that's when you know you've managed to find that frequency. And now that broader perspective is helping you out. And the friend that you've got in that high flying place who knows everything that you are and all that you want and what the path of least resistance to help you get from where you want to be to where it is. And we want you to understand that the path of least resistance isn't the shortest path. It's the most joyful path. It's the most interesting path. It's the most fun path. It's, it's the path. We don't speak words. We offer vibration and vibration of alignment really does produce emotion. And that's why that which is source is by your standards, the emotion of love, but few humans have the capacity yet because you haven't practiced it consistently enough. And consistent is the word that we want to keep introducing here because momentum equals consistency and focus equals momentum equals consistency equals state of being. But you must focus yourself into that momentum and the way you feel is the way you know how you're focused so often it's interesting you'll be in a conversation and someone will say something that will trigger something in your mind and so they're talking about a city or an experience or a place and so often you engage on that level but when you begin tuning to your frequency caring about how you feel paying attention to what you do and what you think paying attention to the people that you even think about Esther's finding herself selectively sifting everything about past experience because there are minefields everywhere in other words there are things that she can think about that will take her off her high flying disc immediately and 17 16 15 14 13 she's counting herself down from that not wanting to lose her momentum and so as you begin really caring about how you feel and you can accomplish that in this environment with all of this majesty around you with all of this beauty around you with all of this high flying energy around you this is really a good opportunity for you to tune yourself to the frequency of who you really are in the beginning as we began playing with you years ago we said to you that meditation is the way to tune yourself or to make yourself aware of your tuning because when you quiet your mind you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistance and when you stop resistance your vibration just naturally rises and so as your vibration is rising 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 and you begin to feel what that feels like then you become unwilling to allow thoughts to get going that diminish that feeling of well-being care infinitely and ultimately mostly about how you feel it all sorts itself out in a really wonderful way
You said, I'll go forth and I'll sift and sort and I'll discover the things that I want. And so in the discovery of something that is beyond, in other words, feel how it feels to be completely satisfied. You all think that you want that. Oh, won't it be nice when I have everything that I want? No, you'll really be dead and there's not that kind of dead. <laughs> Would it be nice to have everything that I want? And what you're really saying, the discord that you're really feeling is to desire something that I'm not vibrationally up to speed with causes resistance in my vibrational countenance that is uncomfortable. So the key is to figure out how to not introduce that resistance, even though it hasn't manifested yet, because it's the resistance that you don't want. It's the alignment, the feeling of alignment that you do want. Everything that you want, whether it's a material object or a state of being or a relationship or a pile of money, a circumstance or an event, anything that you want or anything that anyone wants or has ever wanted or ever will want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it. So once you figure out how to tune yourself to that frequency that feels good, that's why we start every seminar in that way. Do you know what you want? Do you know what you want? Are you okay with knowing it, even though it hasn't manifested or demonstrated itself to you? Because once you reach that place that you don't need the actualization of it because the alignment with it feels so satisfying to you. Now two things happen. First, you feel good all the time. And next, everything that you want flows easily into your experience until you begin talking about demanifesting. I've got more clutter around me than I need. Most people are trying to fill the void of not being in alignment with stuff. Because when you say, I desire something, there's an implication that there's something unfinished that is wanted. And we want you to understand that there will always be that which is unfinished that is wanted. But when you're in alignment with where you are, satisfied with what is and eager for more is the idyllic situation. So do you accept that you are living in a vibrational universe? And does it sort of kind of make sense that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe? And have you accepted yet that your emotions really are an indicator? Have you had enough trial and error experience to show yourself that when you're in alignment with who you are, you feel great. And when you're not, you don't. Have you shown yourself that? So if you've come that far, then you can take it all the way because now all that you have to do is acknowledge that source energy is on your side and in your vortex. And so life's going to constantly cause you to ask for something. And as you care mostly about how you feel, so you decide, all right, Abraham, I'll play your silly game. I'm going to go to bed tonight and I'm going to acknowledge that while I sleep, my momentum will stop because my point of attraction isn't active when my mind isn't active. So when I awaken in the morning, I'm going to acknowledge that I'm awake and I'm going to acknowledge that I'm in a good place, that I'm on a high flying disc and I'm going to watch those early thoughts that come. In other words, you can't start yelling at your kids right away. You can't start worrying about what traffic's going to be like and don't bring the problem that you had yesterday into day to day and think about it. Try to let this be a fresh start, like pushing the reset button and then do that for a few days until you're showing yourself that you can control your mood because you care about your mood by directing your thoughts into good feeling thoughts into good feeling things as general as you can about things that you feel good about and then begin watching how everything begins to respond to you in a different way and as you play this game more and more and more your clarity, it's the momentum of it. In other words, everyone can have a high moment. You can listen to a song, it'll take you right up there. And the next minute you're yelling at your kids again. It's the up and down, up and down, up and down that keeps you from gathering the momentum that we're really talking about. But when you get on that high flying disc and you stay there deliberately, and then you get on that high flying disc and you stay there deliberately until you've maintained it enough that through most of the day, you're feeling good. And then through most of the next day, you're feeling good. And through most of the next day, you're feeling good. Not worried about slipping from your disc because there's always another day. So as you maintain this more and more consistently, what begins to happen is you begin to feel the alignment that you have with that broader perspective and your sensation of clarity just goes through the roof. Suddenly, you know, things that you have no logical reason to know. You just intuitively are moving in the right direction. You find yourself just rendezvousing with things that matter to you. It feels like a magical state of being. It's not magical. It's the way you are meant to feel. 
because you came into an environment deliberately wanting to sift through the variety in order to define what you want if you have not been the one who has defined what you want then there can be no satisfaction in the coming into alignment with it or in the realization of it you see you are the creator of your own reality and when you become that hands in the clay deliberate creator of your own reality where you think a thought and you recognize that it's causing a diminishment in the way you feel so you change it you augment it you abridge it you add to it you amend it you deliberately define it and then you feel the ease within you as you come into alignment and with that ease then comes clarity once you begin becoming a master of this energy alignment and we are knowing that that's the reason that you've traveled so far to play with us under these conditions you are the masters of this you are the ones most logical and most likely to tune yourself to these frequencies and maintain that alignment so that you're walking around in clarity seeing through the eyes of source feeling good about things being the influencer that uplifts walking among those who may not understand it not following them with your empathetic thoughts not letting them control the vibration of you garnering the momentum the energy that creates worlds is a huge momentum that you have at your back Esther's been she says it feels like I've got this wave at my back it feels like all things that are necessary are at my back and all I have to do is focus myself in the direction of something and that energy comes forth and the clarity comes not somebody doing it for her that's not fun you want to define it you want to find it you want to find the nuggets you want to find the nugget and then you want to align with the energy that provides the avenue the path for the fulfillment of it ah deliberate creation in physical time space reality it's the best of all worlds and it's why not only you are here it's why all of us are here as well you see you will never again feel negative emotion and not know what it means right now I'm focused in a way that is so far apart from who I really am and what I really want that I'm experiencing this visceral feeling of disconnection is too strong of word but I'm pinching myself off pinching myself off from what from clarity of the path what else from the feeling of the energy what does that mean that means your physical body is not experiencing all of the benefit that it could that means anybody in your surrounding is not benefiting in the way that they could upliftment true upliftment is tuning to that frequency and maintaining it consistently enough that when somebody else which is most everybody else sort of stumbles accidentally into a higher frequency you're there ready to rendezvous with them 